What's going on everyone? So today what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be jumping back into Foundry Virtual Tabletop. And we're actually going to be installing modules into our Foundry Virtual Tabletop software. It's actually very simple and we're actually going to kind of go over what you need to do in order to be able to pick one and we're going to go into the Foundry website, kind of look through the different modules that are in there, see which one's going to kind of fit for us in our situation at that point. And then we're actually going to install it and activate it into that little game that I have in my test world there to just kind of show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this. Now, uh, there are plenty of modules out there for 5th edition for Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, there are a few out there for Pathfinder, Starfinder, those kinds of games, but um, there's just more out there right now for 5th edition. So just keep that in mind as we're going through this, but this is still going to work for you Pathfinder, Starfinder fans as well. Now, if you guys do have any questions, the comment section down there is a really good place for it, but also that live stream that I do Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Twitch, the link for it is down there in that description. We actually go over Foundry Virtual Tabletop, other virtual tabletops, Dungeons and Dragons, we talk about campaign prep, dungeon mastering, all those kinds of things, but then I also do my own campaign prep over there. And I find that the collaborative experience of kind of bouncing ideas off of each other is a really good space for dungeon master world building and stuff like that. So there's a lot to be had there. So if you guys are interested in like kind of how my thought process goes and how I make my own worlds, then you'll kind of see that when you're over there. Now, without further ado, let's uh, install some modules onto Foundry. All right, guys, so now that we're over at the computer, let's actually pick a module that we want to install. So I'm actually, right now, I'm on the Foundry Virtual Tabletop website, foundryvirtualtabletop.com. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna come up here to systems and modules. And this is kind of like how I like to work my way through picking the modules I wanna pick from because you can do that within the Foundry software, but the descriptions are kind of condensed and stuff like that. So you get kind of a really good uh, description and you can kind of figure out and tease out which module you wanna pick from. Now, there's all these different categories down here you can pick from as well, but I'm actually gonna come here into add on modules. And we're gonna pick something from here. So. Um, I kind of did a little bit of research and a little bit before I started this video and I'm actually going to utilize Dice So Nice. So if we click on Dice So Nice, what it's basically going to do is it's going to actually have an animation to show some 3D dice on our game systems, which is really cool because um, if you've ever utilized Fantasy Grounds or D&D um, Beyond and stuff like that, they now have those kind of like cool dice rolling um, animations so we can actually bring that into our Foundry game. So. We're actually going to jump back over here to Foundry Virtual Tabletop, and as you can see here, I'm on add-on modules, and all you really have to do is just go to install module, and all the community-driven modules that have been approved by Foundry are going to be in here. So we can actually roll down here, and we can find Dice So Nice. This is the one we want. So we're going to install Dice So Nice, and now it's in here. So now that it's installed, we can actually jump into our game world, because we still need to do some stuff before we can actually utilize Dice So Nice. We actually have to activate the module inside of our game world. So let's actually launch the world. And now that we're in here, it does say my game is paused, but that I can easily turn that off. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to this game setting tab, manage modules. We're going to click on Dice So Nice. We're going to make sure it's activated. Save the module settings. Now, typically they're not already activated, but I've activated it on here previously, so I think that's why it was already pre-installed. So if we ever want to do anything, we can actually come to our different characters, we can come to the character sheet. There's actually some other cool modules that allow you to kind of roll from the actual tokens on the map, and we'll, I'll sh it's really cool, but uh, just kind of research kind of the modules that are going to work for you in your games. But for right now, I'm just going to go out of the character sheet to do it. So we're going to come to Jeffrey the Barbarian. Let's say we want to roll an attack roll. So we're going to come to our inventory. Let's roll our longsword. It's gonna populate in the chat here. Let's say it's an attack roll. We're gonna roll normally. And it's gonna throw that dice out there and it's gonna create that like really cool animation. So now let's say, let's say that nine actually hits. So now let's roll damage, normal. And it's gonna actually roll our damage onto our map as well. and kind of give you that cool animation as well. So um, that's actually just really the easiest way to kind of show you guys how to install modules. It's actually, as you could see, that was really quick and easy. It's actually not that difficult. All you have to do is literally install it from the main page there that we saw here on the setup screen. Make sure we install it, make sure you update them, come down here to install module like we did before, pick whatever one's gonna work for you. And like I said, from my experience, the best way to kind of figure out which one's gonna work the best is kind of to go over to that Foundry website read the descriptions, make sure to see if it's actually gonna be compatible because you can see here that there's been some compatible uh, versions that have come out that have been updated every once in a while because of the fact that Foundry is up constantly updating because it's still sort of in beta, um, but it's continuing to improve thanks to these awesome modules. Now, that's pretty much it. That's the kind of easy, quick and dirty way to kind of bring modules into your Foundry virtual tabletop game. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is actually gonna end our tutorial on how to take those awesome community-made modules that exist out there to really enhance our Foundry Virtual Tabletop games and actually install them onto our interface. Now, 
if you guys have questions, comment section, but also that live stream is a great place, but it's also a great place where we do a lot of collaborative stuff on campaign building, campaign prep, dungeon mastering, all that kind of cool stuff. Any questions that you have, I'll answer there, but it's also a great place for you guys to kind of learn my methodologies and how I kind of prep for my own games, which is really fun. Now, I do have other stuff on the channel related to Foundry Virtual Tabletop, so make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, notification bell, just so that way you can get alerted when that kind of stuff comes out. But like I said, I have more tutorials on Foundry, Roll20, Fantasy Grounds. I'm sure all the playlists are up here somewhere, um, so make sure you guys check that out. Now, I hope you guys learned something today, and until next time, happy gaming.